So here we have Guild technology, so Guild reports. They are also laboratory from China, apparently. Very nice. Guild since 1980. And yeah, that's how these reports look like. Here we see an emerald. Very interesting. And they also include some photos of the inclusions here. I guess that's a special report. Very nice, beautiful. That's how it looks like. It's the booklet. Also quite artistic, I like it. They also make books. Very nice, very nice. So that's a special report here, right? Yes, yes. Uh, for this report, uh, 1,000 US dollars. 1,000 US dollars is yes, this report. Yes. Very nice. So it's cheaper than the Platinum Award from GIS, I guess. Very nice. And you also include like photos of the inclusions, right? Yes. This is actually from the stone, a yes. photo of the inclusions yes. for only 1,000 US dollars. Yes. Wow, guys, this is amazing. Like. <laughs> I, I can show for you. And we are guild, guild report. Yeah. Yes, we have a many office in the global. You can see we have an office in West Andro, uh, China, and Bangkok, Sri Lanka. Okay. Bangkok and Sri Lanka, very yes. nice, very nice. And a normal report, how does a normal report look like? Do you have a normal, you can show this regular? One. This is our normal report. This is the normal report, yes. here, for instance. Yes, this one for Tomira, and this one for uh, Safari. Separate. Original Burma and for the treatment Very and nice. the treatment. How much is a report like this for? In this, uh, in the normal, yeah. and, uh, we, one report you need to pay 100 US dollar, no original. Okay. If original, you, you need to pay 150 US dollar. Yes. Wow, that's very good. That's a very good price. Yes. Like it's the and cheapest the probably. Yeah. We have a 15 discount for report. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. I like it. Yeah, efficiency and uh, quality. Look at this. Like this is so cool to have the photos of the inclusions in the report. You know, I Thank think you. no no other lab does that. And if they do it, it's more expensive. I guarantee you that it will be more expensive. Pretty cool to see. Yeah, guilt reports. I actually didn't know about this uh, laboratory actually until I went to these gemstone fairs. Now I know about it. Guilt. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. It's also a photo. Very nice, beautiful. Focus on research, origin tracing, beryllium diffusion test. Do you do color stability also? Yeah. Are you doing color stability tests on sapphire or? Yes. You also do that? So you can see. I can see. This one is our trick memoir. Um, okay. For okay. ruby, sapphire, uh, emerald, everyone. Very nice, very nice. At Guild Technology, guys, check them out. Definitely, An upcoming laboratory from China. Oh, it's quite established in China, probably, right? In China, you are very popular. Very popular. Yeah, very popular in Bangkok and in Beijing. I see. Because in Europe, I haven't heard of you. In Europe, not yet. I never heard before. In Europe, not no. Okay. <laughs> but maybe we can change that. Thank you so thank much. You, thank you. Thank you. So guys, those have been the labs basically that uh, are represented, not all of them, there's also SSCF and I think, yeah, that, that was it, that, that those are all the uh, labs that are popular right now at this moment and yeah, we are now back here in the Taiwan section, here's Taiwan, Italy also, China, I think that's it, there's maybe one more in the back. I cannot see it, but here is India also. India, very interesting, and gemstones in general, like as a mixed section, I guess. Pretty cool. And Brazil, maybe we should go to Brazil. Maybe they have some Paraipa from Brazil there. And opals are here too. Cool. Well, I like the artwork, take a look at this. Pretty sick looking, I mean. I'm always uh, amazed by the, by the artwork, because these stones look so magnificent in, in the artworks, in the close-ups. Yeah, maybe we should go through here. Let's go through here. We can find some interesting opals. Yeah, those are definitely next level opals here. Gemfield Cola LTD. It's not gem fields, it's just like Opal Direct. Guys, they copyright strike me. These guys copyright strike me. <laughs> Let's not go there. Let's not go there. That's crazy, it's a black opal. Sorry, can I do a video? Is it okay or? Um, 
from my YouTube? Just, yeah, just so. Just, yeah. yeah okay. okay. Guys, take a look. Black Opal, 115 carats. Wow. The red in it is crazy. Amazing. Beautiful. Also this one. A one-of-a-kind piece. That's art, guys. It's true art. Beautiful. Another black opal, guys. The most expensive color of opal is, of course, black opal. Harley Quinn. Amazing. Should I show your brand? Yeah. So we are at uh, Miraculous Jewelry Australia. I don't know how to pronounce this, but yeah. How do you pronounce it? How's the name of the brand? Yes, that's yes, yes. How's it called? Miraculous. 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 Okay. From Australia. Very nice. They have amazing black opal. Wow. How much is the big black opal for 115 carats? Like, um, price where? Six figures or five figures uh, still? This one is, uh, you know, this one is, I think, the most uh, minor. Yeah. The whole life, life they cannot find it. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> they find it once. Yes, that yes, is a yes, one of a time yes. so event. This, this is, 20, uh, this is uh, two. Yeah, so this is, is for you guys to understand, this is a one-of-a-kind piece, black okay. opal, 115 carat. The big piece, I'm talking about the bigger, the big piece. How much is the big piece? So you mean, this one, yeah, yeah, this, this one. one. You, you know, old red color, yeah. black opal red color now, small one also, uh, the top quality small one also, uh, the per color is uh, it's a ten thousand US dollar per carat. Per carat, ten thousand yeah, so before smaller. Is, yeah, yeah this it's one much is bigger. Much so, so the red, even well, the red, yeah. So this amazing. is one million, uh, more than one million. Uh, this is more dollar. than yeah, one million dollars. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. More than one million. More than one, one million. million, guys. This is. Can yeah. I maybe yes. turn it a little bit? Because that's more than a million, more guys. Than, this is this is crazy. Yeah. You never found. The, you in, will not the, find this. Yeah. I can't imagine. I mean. In, you know, in Australia, open now the history uh, 120 20 or 30 years. One, 100, 120 or 30 years, uh, Australia found this rediscovery open in Australia. Yeah. But now, I think they on the market is uh, 130 years. Yeah, yeah, but you cannot find the other one like this. No, no, there's nothing new coming out of the yes, mines. Yeah. No new stuff, yeah, guys. So this is, this is why. So Over a million. That's yeah. a black opal, actually. Probably the biggest in the world. One of the biggest that exists. All the other ones are in private hands somewhere. There's nothing new coming out of the mines. Over a million, at least. Yes. And uh, yeah, magnificent piece. This is yeah, amazing. The, One of a kind piece. The price piece. is this view. Yeah. This view is uh, compared to other, other teams to this future. Yeah. Don't take but that out. <laughs> it might break. Like It's very fragile. Be careful, right? Okay, Be very you. careful with that. Thank you. <laughs> I'm from Germany, actually. Oh, Germany, Germany yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think Europe, yes. Yeah, they like, they like uh, Australian opal. Very nice, yeah, very nice. Know, you know opal, yeah. How much is the ring you said? That's 800,000 or something. Less than a million, you said, right? Yeah. yeah the ring, I see, I see. But it's also very, very yeah, rare. Very and rare, very rare. Guys, this is very rare, expensive. Black opal, untreated. One of a kind piece. Here at... Uh, so we are at Miraculous Jewelry Australia PTY LTD here. And yeah, magnificent, one of a kind piece. Under a million, over a million, $800,000 she said. This is over a million dollars, one of a kind piece, amazing. Look at the artwork, I love it. I mean, amazing. Beautiful. Lightning rich opal. Take a look at this. Pretty cool. I can't believe it. This is spheres of emeralds. Unbelievable. I think it's even cat's eye. There's a star in it. Crazy. That's very nice peridot. So they exclusively only sell peridot gemstones, as you can see. Very nice. Also, the artwork. You know, keep an eye out for people that. Um, have amazing artwork that combine artwork with the jewelry amazing looking that's so yeah China's. so that's the province China's of China yeah. where the uh, so peridots are mined 
Interesting. So Peridot is mostly mines in China or? No, in uh, Pakistan. Pakistan uh, also. Burma. Burma. Um, is, uh, Arizona. But this mine is the largest known deposit in the world. Oh, so it's the largest mine. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. I and didn't even know that. It's here in the Chiang Mai Mountains. In the mountains. Yeah, because I was amazed by the mountains when I arrived in Hong Kong. Oh, yeah. There are mountains yeah. apparently here. I didn't even know that. Yeah. So it's uh, a yeah. it's beautiful land. It's, uh, yeah. it's just nature. And this particular peridot has got a slightly lower lower iron content, so it's way more vivid green. I see. Normally, I see. peridot's got more of a yellowy hue to it. So. so. It's an amazing stone. Is it true that it's the second deepest growing uh, earth on uh, it, stone and earth? It's in the same place as the diamond. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's diamond is the deepest yeah. and it's very and near it's to very diamond, yeah. to peridot and all the other yeah, gemstones so I bought. It was created during a uh, volcanic um, action. So. The action, so it's, yeah. uh, it's an igneous rock, it's a metamorphic, <laughs> on, but not sedimentary, right? Not sedimentary. It, igneous, it, it, volcanic. It, yeah, it's it's a, an igneous, yeah, igneous yeah, rock. Very nice, very nice. How's it called? Fuli gemstones, right? Yeah, so Fu Li, Fu Li is Chinese for rich and beautiful. Where are you from? Me, I'm English. English? <laughs> yeah. Oh, from England. We're quite an international team. So oh, I see. I, I live see. in the US. <laughs> so you live in the US. Very nice. I like the watches too. Yeah, like amazing. It, yeah. it has a certain vibe to it, yeah, you know. So these are a Hong Kong company called Mem Origin and uh, was set up by a young entrepreneur who um, he actually wanted to develop a tourbillon for, for in Hong Kong. The tourbillon, its own yeah. tourbillon, wow, that's yeah. a very complicated yeah. movement, right? Yeah. So that's, yeah. how much does this watch like this cost? Like this? I mean, they vary. Six so figures or? Yeah, six yeah, figures. Six yeah. figures. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. Only at the fully gemstones here. Very nice, I like it, I like it. Here we can see some rough yep. specimen of peridot also. Guys, one of the oh, that's another story. Let's let, let's not talk about that. I actually own a. Let's let's cut that out. Look at the work of art here. This is so detailed. I mean, those are frogs holding a peridot. Beautiful. Look at this. Magnificent. So peridot's chemical structure dictates its color, right? It doesn't occur in any other color. No, exactly. Yeah. It's the only gem that comes in the color green, but you get variants of the green depending on the, how, much, how much iron is in the in the makeup. Interesting. So um, iron is the yeah. element so that this has a slightly lower iron. That's the coloring agent, which is normally a dampening agent in corundum. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, I see, it normally I see. kills the the chromium is coloring agent in um, uh, corundum and 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 um, beryl, like emerald and things. But it's different here. The coloring agent is iron, but depending on the amount of iron will depend on how green the gemstone is. It also has high pleochrism. So if you go above three to five carats and you cut it on the cross, you get even more green. Oh really, so, really? Yeah. I didn't even yeah. know that. Interesting. Yeah. So I, I strong pleochrism. Yeah. Very cool stone guys. Very nice. Take a look at the way they present their gemstones. This is amazing looking. Beautiful. It's a Chinese company. And yeah. Beautiful. Cheng Hao Jewelry here at the Hong Kong Gem Expo. Look at the way it's presented, man. Very artistic, unique, beautiful. Nice, very nice. So they are also cutting, very nice. Guys, take a look at this here. It's like a bazaar of gemstones with, uh, yeah, with a price list, as you can see. Very odd, very nice. Dressed like Kiss. Look at this. Rock you. Kiss you. I see. And yeah, this is packed, guys. Maybe they can find some good deals in here. Who knows, you know? People are always attracted to finding 
something very valuable for a very cheap price, but the chances are very unlikely. I mean, who knows? I don't know how they operate, but most likely the chances are not there to find something very valuable there. But hey, it's just an opportunity for you to, you know, maybe get into gemstones. You know, if you're new into the stuff, you want to collect stones, you can uh, find a good deal maybe. Lavender Jadeite, for instance. And this is even certified, I guess. Yeah, and the price sold out. I don't know. Oh, there are letters, so it's S. S would be $70. Yeah, very interesting. So you have these letters and these numbers. Thank you. And pretty cool. So S, $70. So this each one of these $70. Then you have A. A would be $50. Andalusite. Very interesting. Here's an Opal L. A is also $50. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. $50. This is Australian. Natural Opal. So they don't tell you the origin. <laughs> no laboratory. Matter of fact, no laboratory tells you the origin of a Opal. But yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. But it's too full, man. It's like, bro. Yeah, a tourist attraction. Wow, take a look at this, guys. Enchanted Designs LTD. Look at this. Look at this. This is very nice. I tell you. Wow. Look at the shells. I mean, the size of it. Ammonite from Canada. 70 million years old. Enchanted Designs. Take a look at this. That's really something you want to put in your home. Like, if you have money and you have taste this is an eye catcher beautiful and here she is jenny from vp gems is also here very nice also previously in our uh, bangkok video she was and yeah more magnificent jewelry from jenny beautiful pieces the sizes hello <laughs> look at that beautiful yeah, he's a paparazzo sapphire also. Look at the size. Magnificent. As you can see, 50% sale on the Vietnam Spinel boxes. You can see Spinel from Vietnam. Beautiful. Very nice. Cobalt Spinel. Cobalt Spinel. So it's a rare gem. It's a rare variety of it with a special chemical composition. Very nice. Also very cool, the specimens here of different type of stones. I guess they are from Tanzania. Who knows? Oh yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's see what else we can find. Some more rough. Guys, here he is. Dr. Peretti is standing behind me, actually. Don't want to interrupt him, of course, but that's the guy who founded the GRS, actually. Very nice, very nice. Alright guys, so I met Dr. Peretti actually in front of his GRS booth, a one-of-a-kind event and yeah, that was pretty cool. We talked a little in German, we talked about what I do and yeah, that was pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah. I told him I like his videos, his YouTube channel, he really enjoyed that and pretty cool. I got some photos of it actually, I didn't take no video and yeah, pretty cool. Who would have thought this would happen in Hong Kong at the Gem Fair? Amazing guys. It's been an amazing experience. Now I'm looking for an emerald for a friend of mine and let's take a look at it. Hey, what's up? 
it's you again. We, we meet again. Uh, I follow you actually. You know, he's the first guy I met at JTC. I talked to, and now he's also here in Hong Kong. Nice to meet you. So I see now you have actually bigger stones, single stones, and a lot more than in uh, the Hang um, Bangkok Fair, right? Bangkok Fair. Yeah, Bangkok was smaller, right? Smaller. Yeah. Now it's uh, the big booth. Very nice. Very nice. So check out Unsub Row Gem Co Ltd if you look for calibrated emeralds. Thank you so much. See you. Thank you. See you. So guys, we are now in the natural diamond hall here, and what we can see is just amazing. I mean, all of here, everywhere are diamonds basically, and yeah, as you can see, here are a lot of diamonds. Sponsored jewelry council apparently very big sizes 10 carats up to 10 carats even bigger and yeah that's how it looks like pretty cool pretty cool what can I tell you so that's how the uh, diamond hall looks like very interesting mystery of diamonds here we can see the ideal scope herons arts arrow and hearts shaped uh, diamonds take a look at this Laser inscription. Pretty cool. <coughs> Interesting, the beers, the oldest diamond mining company in the world probably. Forever mark. Very interesting. So here we can see all of the associated manufacturers or brands. The ideal scope. You don't see that often in Europe. Very nice. Alright guys, so apparently this whole hall is just diamonds, natural diamonds. And yeah, I think the other hall was uh, synthetic diamonds that was uh, upstairs. And this hall here is just all natural diamonds. It's, it's insane, I can't, can't imagine, you cannot imagine the size of this hall and the amount of diamonds that are here. It's simply amazing. Yeah, and here you can see some of these natural diamonds. All natural, right? All natural. It's all natural, all natural diamonds. Look at the size of these stones. I mean, five carats each, up to ten carats. Like ten carats is the peak, right? Ten carats would be the biggest. Twelve carats, yellow. Twenty-two, twenty-seven. It even gets bigger, but yellowish, right? Yellow, yellow stones. A little bigger, but here the white the white stones. I mean, and this is F color, right? F color, K color. Do you have a D color like this? Yeah. This one right here, D color. So the highest class of color. VS2 clarity, excellent, excellent. Non fluorescent. Crazy, crazy. So that's a D colored pair. Crazy, two carats each. D color, eight carats. Okay, how much would a pear shape like this one cost? How much? Four hundred and forty one thousand dollars. <laughs> Guys, four hundred forty one thousand US dollars for this decolored flawless FL. It's a flawless diamond. Decolored flawless, two times excellent, no fluorescence GA. Simply amazing. And it's a Type 2A diamond. Oh, I see, I see. Out of all of these diamonds, how many Type 2A do you have? Like a couple just, right? Oh, yeah, we have a You have a, more, How many? Like two, three, five, six? Maybe around 50, 20 stones. 20 pieces? Out of how much? Out of uh, 15,000. 15,000 diamonds. You have 20, you said. So much. 20. Yeah, yeah. Type 2A, this is, like I said, the rarest type, one of the rarest, I mean, it's pretty much the rarest type of diamond. Only 2% of all diamonds are Type 2A. This is just amazing. Wow. Guys, so here we have a natural Type 2A diamond, the rarest form of diamond in the world. This is almost half a million dollars, right? Half a million. And here we have the lab diamond tester and they state that every type 2a diamond will be recognized as a cvd or hpht diamond basically and let's see how this let's see if this is true let's test this and wow i cannot believe it i don't even want to touch it because it's so rare amazing
wow, here we have it, 400,000 US dollars. And let's test it. What does it say? CVD yes. HP HT type 2A. Type 2A, CVD HP HT type 2A, so it's true. CVD HP HT type 2A. So this stone contains no nitrogen, as far as I understand it. And yeah, it's, it's true what uh, has been told about these testers. They cannot test type 2A diamonds, guys. There is a 2% chance of these testers failing, actually, because there are 2% natural type 2A diamonds on the market. One of the best, no, this is the best handheld lab diamond tester. Pretty cool, yeah. Thank you so much for showing. What's the name of your brand? Like, we can show that, right? For your... Guys, I'm holding one of the rarest diamonds in the world. The rarest, a type 2A diamond, FL, no inclusions, no fluorescence, in D color. Triple excellent cut, simply amazing. The best diamond in the world, and it's looking amazing. Yeah, simply amazing. Half a million dollars, guys. You can see it, it's hard to see in the video, but. Really, thank you for showing me, I mean. In Germany, I, never, I will never see this in Germany, never ever. This is uh, impossible to see. Yeah, I've been in Deutschland. <laughs> you speak German, great. <laughs> yes, guys, pretty funny. As she said, I'm testing my loops right here. I'm comparing loops with a half a million, the rarest diamond in the world, basically. It's true, yeah. This loop here is terrible compared to these two loops. This is the best loop. This is the second best because uh, this has a bigger diameter. But yeah, where do I get this loop from is my question. Like. Everywhere. It's uh, hard to get, I'm telling you. This is the best loop so far. Half a million dollars. Amazing. So definitely check out Unkit Gems, Unkit Gems. We are at the Hong Kong Gem Fair and yeah, what can I tell you? I have never seen so big natural diamonds. These are all natural, amazing gemstones. Thank you for the opportunity. Amazing. Guys, I'm totally overwhelmed in this diamond hall. There are literally diamonds that are like 35 carats. For, I'm not kidding you, like 40 carats. Like, bro, this is natural diamond in that size. I cannot imagine, like, the price would be millions. Or six figures, who knows, who knows in the end. I mean, if there's such a large amount of it, like, everywhere are diamonds. It's this whole hall of one type of gemstone, diamond. In the other hall was every type of gemstone. Here's just one type, and that's diamond. So you can't imagine the amount that must be here. And it's all natural, apparently. You cannot imagine. There's a separate hall just for synthetics. And, uh, yeah, it's cubic zirconium, moissanite, and stuff like this. And this here is all natural diamonds. Let me ask these guys. Guys, is this all natural in this hall? or All natural, only natural allowed. So this whole hall is full of diamonds here. That's crazy, because I've seen some diamond sizes, 30 carats, 40 carats yeah. even. It's crazy. I'm, I'm really impressed by this. I'm really impressed by this. Yeah, thank you. Where thank you. From? I'm from Germany. Germany. Yeah, man. People are really interested in me recording here, but I, I have so little time. You know, time is the most valuable assets. asset here. And guys, it's all natural. Like I said, you know, if you want to confirm that diamond is not really that rare I mean you just need to come here because this is all natural guys this is this is insane the size of these stones is just mind-boggling literally when you see a diamond of this size a natural you you choose you, you lose all the trust in, in diamonds basically I see here's also jewelry sold and colored stones also so it's not just diamonds apparently it's a little bit mixed up here we see a uh, Paul Wild. It's a German uh, gemstone dealer, or cutter even, I don't know, dealer, cutter, whatever. And they have, yeah, the f one of the finest, the finest varieties of uh, gemstones here, the, fi the finest qualities. And, yeah, it's also an emerald dealer. Hmm, so apparently it's not just diamonds. Let me figure this out. We have some emeralds. Not the finest quality. Here are more colored stones. Here are colored stones. Interesting, interesting. Let me check this out first so I can tell you what the deal is here. So we have this small section here of colored stones, as you can see. 
and now here again we have the uh, diamond section so it is only diamonds but there is a section that intersects here that also has colored gemstones very interesting i mean look at this look at those chains oh no photo or video let's not uh, put them into a bad mood but yeah we already recorded it let's see so yeah it's true it's all diamonds here here we can see more melee, some watches, etc. Yeah, I will not go further here. Let's go back to the colored section. Guys, the size of this, you cannot imagine the size of this convention. This is just huge. Look at this. So overwhelming. So much to see. Today we met Dr. Peretti also. That was also amazing. You just have to be at the right time, at the right place in this life. And things happen, I'm telling you. I'm so grateful for you guys to watch me because this is this is a dream coming true basically, you know Looking at all of these gemstones and being able to show you them in such a high quality Thank you to DJI also <laughs> for creating this camera. It's very very uh, efficient and very uh, like convenient. It's a very convenient camera No video of course, let's not Put them to the test but yeah, even this intersection here is so big. Even though it's just a small intersection of colored gemstones in this diamond hall, it's huge. And here is also like, hmm, you can't really say it's finer quality. It's that's not true even. It's just smaller. It's just a different look. You know, it, it looks more uh, prestige. I can tell you that much. But yeah, the quality of the stones. Hmm. So a lot of Germans actually here in this intersection. There's another GmbH. That's a German business name. Stands for it. Yeah. So yeah, color line. Oh, that's color line. Actually, we know them from the United States. They do have yeah, very fine, very fine sapphires and rubies. So yeah, you might know already. Color line USA. Very nice. Shalom. Huh. Look at the roof. Dr. Peretti at it again. <laughs> All right, that's not. Let's not interrupt them. <laughs> but yeah, they have some nice emeralds here too. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at this here. So you also have a stage here, as you can see, pretty cool. Yeah, what else can I show you? You have also a lot of Jewish people, of course, here, because they've been in the diamond trade since forever. I mean, they pretty much created the diamond trade. Yeah, Isaac, Davo, Davidovitz. So Dr. Peretti is also walking around here shooting videos himself apparently. Maybe for his YouTube channel, who knows? But yeah, he had a huge piece of uh, emerald in his hand, a huge piece of rough emerald. Yeah, that's that much for the uh, diamond hall. Let's get out of here and get something to drink and eat. Let's go. 
guys. Luckily, it's just these two halls. So we have this big hall here that's full of gemstones. And on the other side, there's the diamond hall. And it's not more, but they have, uh, they call it different halls. It's also cut, it's separated into different halls, but it's just one huge hall here, hall six. And here's um, hall seven. But that indicates only the section. So it's uh, divided by length. So this is one hall, this is the other hall. Very nice, very nice. Take a look at this. I thought it's even more, but luckily it's not. Luckily that's it. So we, I have seen almost everything on the first day, guys. Pretty cool, man. I made it. I met Peretti. I even uh, found him again, recording something uh, by himself. And yeah, what, what else can I ask for, you know? I also have a customer here, a friend of mine that wants to buy an emerald. And we are pretty successful already finding the best emerald for him. A beautiful gemstone. And yeah, he's, he got missing somehow, you know, he's not here, but I will find him again. What else can I tell you? Uh, here are some guys I know, yeah. Here are the Spinel guys. Hey, the Spinel guy, what's up? Yep, yep, yep. It's yeah, yeah, the Ru what is the name? Ruby something? Ruby the International. Ruby International. So we're mining Mahengi Spinel. In uh, Tanzania, Tepper. right? Yeah, in Tanzania. Tanzania. Very nice, very nice. And Check them out. Samurai and tourmaline. Very cool, very cool. They've been in the previous uh, Bangkok German vlogs, Korea. yes, yes, and the shows, and but it's very big here, very, very, very much bigger, much, much bigger than in Bangkok. But I was irritated. I thought I thought it's seven of these halls or something because they write hall on it, but it's just a separation by numbers, right? Luckily, because I thought this would be seven of those, impossible. No, 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 it's just one because. Very cool. Yeah, today I met Dr. Peretti. Like we ah, took photos. Nice. I spoke with him. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. And I found him again. He's still here. He's sh he has this uh, big emerald from Africa. The rough. The, I think it's the world record emerald. Whoa, he has okay. it in his hands, and does, he does a video with it. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, but privately, you know, nobody. I mean, what means privately, you know? You got it, man. You got it. Nice. <laughs> it's not on a big stage. It's just him in a little booth, you know. So guys, here we are at SSEF. That lab was also missing in my uh, vlog. Uh, we had the other labs, GRS, Ghibelline. Now we have SSEF, the three big uh, laboratories. Yeah, and we are waiting on a result, right? Right now we're waiting on three stones. One Cornerupine, one Tourmaline that we are hoping it might be a Paraiba Tourmaline, green color. I see. And one... Think garnet. about it, one, one garnet. garnet. Color change garnet. So that's interesting. So if the tourmaline is carpore or manganese bearing, then it will be a paraipa tourmaline. If it's not, it will be just a tourmaline. So it depends on the chemical composition, actually. It's that's right, man. The yeah. price could vary from, if it's just a green tourmaline, it'll be like $250, $300 a carat. I see. If it's a green paraiba, it might be $30,000 a carat. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> so yeah, we're waiting on that. Waiting let's, on it. Let's wait on that. Here you can see the spectroscopy analysis. Pretty cool, pretty cool. You see these graphs here. I can explain that to you further in another video. It's too much, but yeah, that's how it works here. That's how it works. Pretty cool. That's so cool, guys. So they they are certifying inside of here. You give them their stones, and they're right now, it's right there. It's right there. The results are coming in. So what we got? Vanadium. It's okay. a vanadium tourmaline. Vanadium. <laughs> it's a reaction. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> but that's interesting to know that you can uh, certify your stones inside of here. I guess they just gave it to them a couple hours ago. They certified it right here behind these uh, walls. And yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? That's pretty cool. Is there another lab? Let's take a look at... 
oh, you have the German lab here also, let's leave them alone and go to the DSEF, DSEF, German labs. I actually submitted to these guys here in Germany and uh, yeah, they do also a nice job. They are not as, you know, known as the other labs, but they do a good job at what they do. Pretty cool. Germany representing. Hello. <laughs> Pretty cool. What else we got? We got GIT and I AIGS labs. I think you have every lab here. Yeah, this is this is almost every lab. It's more than every lab. It's also the smaller labs are here. <laughs> Dude, I'm calling him. He says, "Look straight, look straight." There he is. What's up, man? How you doing? I found you. I made it to Hong Kong. <laughs> Jerry Emeralds is back. I'm good. I'm good. So, what you have here? You have a lot. What you pointing at? This one? Yeah. Is it new? This is 22 carats. Yeah, it's new. And look at that, 34 carats. What you pointing at? You mean like the cabochons? Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Want to take it out? Jerry Emeralds. You know who I met today? Oh, you already met. Dr. Peretti. Oh, from GRS? Yeah. <laughs> he was standing in front of his booth. We made some photos. Uh, I did it. No, no video. Uh, he ju they just took photos. The, the guy took photos. Ah, yeah. But yeah, this is. Well, how much per carat? $2,500, guys. How much total do you know in your head? Like 73 carats, give me the cup. Beautiful. 182,000 US dollars, guys. So it could be earrings, right? Yep. It's matching yeah, and it's dependence. A, it's, a set. it's a set. It's a set. So it's the earrings and yeah. a ring. Ring or pendant? Pendant. Only. Yeah. Very nice, beautiful. We'll look for some amazing pieces. That's a nice one. The color is so carats. vibrant and light. 20 carats. 20 carats, how much per, per carat? Uh, this is a very good price, about 1,000. That's it. 32,000 US dollars. Yeah. Total. <laughs> I actually looking. I'm looking right now for an engagement ring for someone, uh -huh. but I think it's a little bit <laughs> like the budget is also fitting. It's also fitting, but where's your friend? He's he got missing. Like <laughs> it's too big here. Uh, uh, contacted him. I asked him. He he should be here in a second. What is that? This is uh, eight carats. Yeah. Okay. How much? Yeah, just 12,000. 12,000. That's too cheap for the engagement ring. <laughs> That's too cheap for it. We need the higher price, higher, to go higher. But yeah. Wanna go higher? Of course. Go higher. No, he's going too high, I guess. It's going on up. When you take it out, be slow, okay? Because it's hit me. Wow, that's a nice I'll, color. Or just take out the stone. Don't take out the box. Very nice emerald. How much is that one? This is four thousand seven point five million. Yeah, thirty thousand dollars. That's thirty thousand. I see. You see the difference? This is thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. This is thirty thousand dollars. Just because the size. Yeah. And yeah. The, you see. And yeah, yeah. And, the, and the quality, of course. The you know, the higher the quality, the more expensive it, it is. It is per carat. So yeah, they are both thirty thousand, you say? Yeah. Nice. Very nice. I would prefer the big one, though. Yeah, I would make I like a pendant. <laughs> this is a nice stone. Guys, I didn't even realize I was just explaining to Jerry uh, how I woke up this morning in my five-star, four-star hotel and uh, there was a, basically the whole room was green. 
when I woke up. And here, here we can see green, the color emerald. I didn't get it. That's a sign, That's a right? Sign That's a sign. That come and look at the green stones. <laughs> yeah, I need to look for it. I'm actually planning to buy a green emerald right now, you know, yeah. for an engagement ring. And uh, that might be a sign. Actually, really, like the alarm had like LEDs in it. They've been so strong that the whole room was green for like a couple seconds. That's pretty funny. No, no, why? No, no, why? That was also a false alarm. I was, I went downstairs. I asked them why, what, what happened. Yeah, it was just a false alarm. No, I actually, actually called them. You know that before. Yeah, and ever since I'm, I'm up basically. I couldn't sleep again. Like, <laughs> dude, man, we, we're laughing here. I need to record the whole conversation, man. <laughs> he asked me like, will you, will you be at the show? I'm like, bro, of course, I'm famous now. <laughs> Confidence, confidence. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. Like people recognize me. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> being optimistic is, is really good for us. Yeah. Being positive. Dude, I'm literally at the German booth, huh. and 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 dudes pull up and and be like, there was a guy. I have it on video also. He was like, dude, I love your videos. I know you from the videos. Really? Seriously, yeah. And, and then he let you let you say that. I told him, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. People really recognized me, yeah, like, it's yeah, yeah. Weird, weird stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was an older guy, he wasn't a young guy. Usually it's younger people, but yeah. that, that was an old guy. He, yeah, it's pretty cool. I would definitely uh, be here every day. And at the other convention also. I keep you, I make the video for you, you know, so you know what's going on. Because <laughs> yeah. you, you don't go there, right? Yeah, no, I have a booth here. I'm yeah. busy with my sales here. How much is the booth? Like, if I want to rent this booth, how oh, much? Oh, if you want to rent a booth, it's going to cost you about $10,000. Whole for the whole week. Yeah, for the whole five days. Ten thousand dollars for five days, guys. This is quite expensive. For quite expensive. <laughs> yeah. And this is only one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you want to have like a like this, yeah. This is four. Yeah. So it's forty thousand dollars. Wow, this is four times the four size. Times the size. It's four times the size, so yeah. it's forty thousand dollars, guys. Have over there, the, that's the, you see, there's a grand hall, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, those are those are like starting is fifty thousand dollars. The small ones. Yeah. But I mean, they have a room I mean, and they have, they have yeah. a room. the whole yeah. setup is fifty thousand. Fifty thousand for each. Yeah. And they're all the same size or yeah, they're all the same size. There's like one Because I saw there are like uh, more there's also a lot of Germans there, like you know they they have like uh, not better quality stones but they yeah, you know they if you want we can go and have a look. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look. See what I'm so some of them have like eight boots. Eight yeah. What you mean eight like Size of oh, the size of eight yeah. of yours, so eighty thousand. What eighty thousand? Really? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy though. Imagine they have no business. Because the first thing you see is Paul Wild. It's a German. That's a German here. Yeah, yeah, it's a German company. You can tell always if GmbH stands after it. It's a German company oh, actually. GmbH. Yeah. Okay. And you can see like this is next level. So you say fifty grand for these boots? Yes, yes. These are like grand, a million boots. Like the, this is mostly like promotional. Ones. Yeah, I can say, I can say. Here for branding, basically. Yeah, and it's a little bit more, you know, luxurious looking. Luxurious you know, you looking, can see, yes. and it's also special because it's in between these diamond booths, right? This oh, yeah. is the diamond hall. These, these are the yeah, and when you walk through it, yeah. you walk through this section, and you see color gemstones. Color gemstones yeah. So the, it's like trying to give the impression that this here is the like finest. This, like yeah, this. something like this. Uh, yeah. Also branding, you know. There, it does. But you can buy the stuff actually. In museums, you cannot buy the stuff, right? Um, I mean. I see what you're trying to do here. You try to be famous now, huh? <laughs> you're trying I'm to. Famous, <laughs> yeah, you. Famous. You made me famous. Now I make you famous. Yeah, yeah. That's the deal, okay? I made you famous because you get the most views from my videos. So, you can tell already. Yeah, I'm, I'm a demonologist, I can tell. You can tell. Yeah, you see the stuff every day, I mean, he's I literally, see you see it every, every day. day so every I can, day. I can look at the stone and tell that it's Zambia and Colombia. Just by the hue and of the color, right? It's just by the hue and color. And Brazil. Brazilian also. also yeah. yeah. These are Colombians. These are Colombians, I see. Muso. 
we arouses the senses. Yeah. Because we can't sleep tonight if we Yeah, I saw it. It was like 14,000 a carat, something like this. So, uh, you know, like. The best price you can get is from Jerry. All right, all right, all right. Hands down. <laughs> As you can see, House of Gems has an entrance actually, and yeah, they do have the, the finest yellow diamonds there. They have next level stuff for sure. Yeah, so as I thought, this place here is uh, it's the uh, bulgari of the gemstone traders. You know, it's yeah. oh, the, yes. the highest class, superb, next level. Even though it's all nonsense, because some of these stones are not as good as uh, the stones you have, for instance. You know, like it's you, you cannot be uh, ignorant about that fact, you know. But if you want to sell something, you have to make it. You have to present it good, you know. That's yeah. always the thing. The better you present something, the most likelihood it will that it will be sold. So that's the thesis here. But is it worth it, 50 grand? Hmm. That depends if you make good profit. It depends on. Depends on many things. Yeah. Mostly on the profit, right? Or no. well, you have an accomplished brand already and you have multi millions, then you are just here for fun. Yes. I can imagine that's also sometimes the case, also you know? Sometimes the case, yeah. They are just here to represent yeah, what, who they are, you know? They are not interested to sell. They, they are not somewhere. interested to sell, they are just here because they can, because they have to, because they want to, you know? But yeah, this is really. Nice, nicely presented. That's that's how I describe it. You know, it's a uh, cut out of ruby, a vase, I think. Yeah, a vase cut out yeah. of ruby, probably. Yeah, most likely. Pretty nice. Vanadium crucible. Yeah, you see all kinds of stuff here. And one of these booths uh, also. Yeah, that, that's also German. Schneider, Eckerhar. Yeah, this is, uh, I saw that before in a lot of German booths, they carve like vase, vases out of ruby. Here, here it stands, ruby. This should be a thumbnail. <laughs> hey, what should it be? This should be a thumbnail for the Thumbnail? The video. Really? <laughs> I, don't, I don't see it. I don't, it doesn't look so special to me. Special? It, it, it oh, just looks okay. like a vase to me. Okay, okay. <laughs> it is, but yeah. Here we have them again. USA representing. But yeah. I try not to uh, go to the most German booths because, you know, once you talk German, it's like the, the vibrational level is sinking. You try to keep up a good vibration and that's... Is it? <laughs> what? I didn't know that. What yeah, because German, you never met German people. They're always like, yeah, nah, this and that, you know. They, they, they are not always like on the same page as Americans or Indian or Chinese, you know. It's a, a different mentality. But yeah, we met some amazing German guys here too today. Super cool. And once they felt, the guy was basically coming up to me and was like, hey, I saw your videos. And then the German guy was standing next to them. And then I spoke German. That was it, you know, like. <laughs> really impressed, yeah. But I mean, look at this, it's amazing. Wow. You can't really see the sparkle. So you also have a lot of Jewish people here, right? Because of the diamonds. They, they've been creating the diamond trade. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the Indians and Jewish are Indians the biggest players the biggest in the diamonds, diamonds yeah. diamond industry. And Indians overall in gems, right? Oh. Indians are most of them. You guys have uh, invented that pretty much. I mean, you know, like <laughs> historically, like the Indian people, the Maharaja, they've been wearing the jewels, right? Of course. Yeah. So you influenced the world with it. Very nice. These are very nice diamonds, man. This is unreal, like. That's <laughs> the size of this. 31 carats. It's insane. But yeah, it, the thing with diamonds is it's, it's so much. Like, diamond is just one type of gemstone, right? It's the diamond. Yeah. And it's a whole hall of it, full of it, you know? Yeah. If, if there would be one hall full of emeralds, then we would know it wouldn't be that rare, right? That if it's, be rare. Yeah, that yeah. wouldn't be rare. But if it's diamond, it's accepted. Yeah. Right? It's, uh, we, yeah, why? Like, why is it accepted to have a whole, a whole uh, hall full of diamonds and then still see it as rare? It's not that rare, obviously. It's not about rarity. Like, you know? You know what I mean? Like, Everybody, the diamond itself is a huge industry, right? Yeah, it's so much course, bigger than emeralds. Much bigger. Emeralds are very, very small. 
small industry. A very small industry. And a good and investment. Yeah. It. And it's a, yeah, it's an investment. People buy emeralds for investment. What happened with your now? No investment. So yeah guys, that's the view, amazing looking. Look at the construction sites there, man, this is crazy. Now we get a train ticket and we will drive to the airport. See you in the next video, guys. So that was the first vlog, or the first video at the um, Hong Kong convention. And today we saw a lot, we met a lot of people we actually met the CEO and founder of the GRS, Dr. Peretti. I actually talked to him. Very nice experience and yeah, let's see what will happen next. I also talked to the uh, head of DSEF, which is the German uh, laboratory and yeah, see you in the next video.